Shalom. Giving all praises to Yahweh Bashma wa Shai. Baha Shamraka Kodash. For giving us the understanding of the Holy Bible through their men. That being the apostles and the bishops of Grey Melstone who are worthy of double honours. And Yahweh Bashma wa Shai. Baha Shamraka Kodash Brakatham. To the 144,000 servants of Yahweh Bashma wa Shai. As well as the remaining elect of the nation of Israel. Now. In this video here, in this lesson, um, I basically want to speak on, once again, the fulfillment of Revelation 13 and 16, because that's the main prophecy that we're to look out for, warn our people about, as the watchmen of Yahweh Bashma Shai. And basically, I want to um, prophesy about how the European digital identity wallet as you see here, is going to be the catalyst to the fulfillment of Revelation 13 and 16 on a global level, okay, according to my spiritual estimation, all right, it says, final agreement on European digital identity wallets expands scope of regulations, it says, the European Parliament and the Council of the EU have reached an agreement on a new framework for European digital identity, including regulation on digital ID wallets, because digital ID wallets is going to be the, the next big thing. Okay, it is uh, the big thing now, but um, it's really going to be the next big thing as it pertains to your digital ID uh, being stored on a microchip implant and a microchip implant being um, your new wallet, okay, which is going to fulfill Revelation 13 and 16. Anyway, it goes on to say, a news release from the European Commission says, this concludes the two legislative bodies' work to implement results of the Provisional Political Agreement reached in June around a legal framework for a trusted and secure digital identity for all Europeans. Okay, and I believe I've done lessons on this uh, EU framework and how it ties to the prophecy. So you can go to my channel, GMS Watchmen, type in framework and a lesson or two should pop up, okay, for your uh, edification. It goes on to say, under the new EIDAS 2.0 regulations, the European Digital Identity Wallet will have extensive applications across public and private enterprise, supporting the EU in meeting its 2030 targets for the digitization of public services. Okay, so when we see 2030, uh, we should understand and know that this is basically Esau's um, timeline this is their agenda pretty much I guess their deadline as it were to complete their mission and what's their mission? well according to what the Apostle John saw in his vision which he recorded in Revelation 13 and 16. It says, And he causeth all, the he being Esau, Edom, which is the so called white man, all right, starting with their wicked central bank families, such as the Rothschild family, all right, which act as a shadow government throughout the world. Job 9 and verse 24 The earth is given into the hand of the wicked The wicked being Esau, Edom Malachi 1 and verse 4 uh, Start of their secret council Right The Illuminati if you will Which is the enlightened ones of Esau, Edom Again such as the Rothschild family And by the way that's according to Psalm 64 and verse 1 It says and he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, 
to receive a mark the mark being the microchip implant in their right hand and it could be your right hand or your left hand because this is really going into your most dominant hand all right and not everyone is right-handed you got certain people out there that are left-handed okay so they're gonna have the microchip implant the mark in either their right hand or their left hand it doesn't matter it says he calls if all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads and that's where you get companies like Neuralink from okay which is um being fronted by Elon Musk dealing with the microchip implant in your brain it says and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name and this is going into how basically you're not going to be able to participate in Esau's new world order his fourth industrial revolution or what they're branding as the great reset um unless you have his mark okay meaning you're not gonna be able to use his central bank digital currencies because we're coming into a cashless society whereby they're gonna do away with all forms of paper money whether it be the us dollar the paper form or the physical form of the us dollar or the pound sterling or the russian ruble or the Indian rupee or the Nigerian Naira that's all going to be done away with okay and they're going to introduce this digital form of currency which they which they're currently doing as we speak this is also speaking about how you're not going to be able to use Esau's um, public services okay his public services being transportation um whether it be boarding a bus getting on a train boarding a plane um using uber or lyft without the mark okay without the mark you're not gonna be able to use his healthcare system all your medical records are gonna go digital all of your identification is gonna go digital all right so things of that nature, this is what's meant by um, no man being able to buy or sell. Mainly it's dealing with the money, the, the money system, but it encapsulates Esau's society, his system as a whole. So no man might buy or sell, or let's say be a part of Esau's system, unless you have Esau's mark, which is the microchip implant. Okay, which is going to be uh, the new digital identity wallet and their target to implement this system is uh, 2030 by 2030 okay they want to achieve this goal this target of theirs by 2030 which is going to fulfill Revelation 13 and 60. And any of you Israelites out there that go ahead and get down with Esau's beast system, his new world order, his fourth industrial revolution via the microchip implant, especially if you live over here in America, you're going to be destroyed, okay, via what's going to follow um, that prophecy, which is Revelation 14 verses 9 to 10 concerning the judgment for uh, the people that you know took Esau's mark the microchip implant and that judgment is going to come in the form of thermonuclear missiles ICBMs via World War III on a nuclear level as well as the visitation of our Lord and Saviour Yahweh Shai of the Holy Angels okay so this is the warning anyway it goes on to say with the full guarantee of EU law, wallet holders throughout Europe can use their linked digital ID to open bank accounts, 
and make payments, store digital ID and biometric documents such as mobile driver's licenses or professional certifications and expedite services in travel okay and the expeditious um, travel services they're speaking about is stuff like you know boarding airplanes and stuff right or getting on a train or even uber but i would say mainly um the plane you know healthcare and other areas of life so these are all the areas of life that's going to be affected you know via um this new system that they're implementing okay the digital id wallet is going to affect all of these different areas all right without the mark all these areas of your life are going to be drastically affected and that's why our lord spoke about the hour of temptation again pursuant to uh revelation 3 and verse 10. so you know that's pretty much all i wanted to bring out in this lesson in this video this very brief video that i'm making you know i just want to let you know that what they're establishing out there in europe which is this european digital identity wallet is going to be the catalyst a foreshadow of what's to come throughout the world um especially when they make the microchip implant mandatory you see right now they're just setting the framework the digital framework the digital id framework um for the world okay but they're starting out there in europe the european union which is a part of esau's beast system all right the beast that the apostle john saw um basically the revival of esau's ancient greco-roman empire okay which consists of the european union which is the i would say the political and economic end of the beast alongside nato the north atlantic tree organization which is the military side of the beast system which is ultimately being headed spearheaded by america okay which all culminates in the revival the rebirth of the ancient roman empire okay anyway i pray and hope that you're edified and lord willing you know i'll come back with another lesson concerning this matter this subject shalom